Welcome to World 24 News Channel. Zelensky calls for more sanctions after new wave of terror. President Zelensky has urged countries to hit Russia with more sanctions in response to a new wave of terror after Monday's attacks on Ukraine. At least 19 people were killed and scores more injured as Russian missiles hit regions across the country. Defiant, he said the attacks will only delay our recovery a little. Following more strikes on Tuesday, Mr. Zelensky called on the West to find new ways to apply political pressure to Russia and support Ukraine. The calls came after he met the G7 group of nations for emergency virtual talks on Tuesday. The bloc which consists of Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the UK and US, promised to continue providing financial, humanitarian, military, diplomatic and legal support to his country, for as long as it takes. G7 leaders will provide support to Ukraine for as long as it takes. He leaders of the group of seven G7 countries on Tuesday held an emergency meeting and reassured Ukraine's Volodymyr Zelensky that they will continue providing his country with military, financial and other support for as long as it takes amid Russia's special military operation there. We reassure President Zelensky that we are undeterred and steadfast in our commitment to providing the support Ukraine needs to uphold its sovereignty and territorial integrity, the G7 said in a joint statement. We will continue to provide financial, humanitarian, military, diplomatic and legal support, and will stand firmly with Ukraine for as long as it takes. And, Biden congratulates Israel, Lebanon leaders on maritime border demarcation agreement. US President Joe Biden has called the leaders of Israel and Lebanon to congratulate them on reaching an agreement on maritime border demarcation, a senior Biden administration official told reporters on Tuesday. Earlier today, just a shot well ago, President Biden spoke with Prime Minister of Israel Yur Lapid and the President of Lebanon Michel Aoun, and extended United States congratulations on reaching this milestone, and U.S. commitment, and President Biden administration's commitment to continue supporting both countries as move forward into implementation, the official said.